Evening, guys. Thanks for coming out. <laughs> so great to see you. Um, it's a dream come true to uh, come true for me to play here. Um, uh, mainly because I've I've played here a few times for events, and it's always sounded so nice. You know, it's always sounded so good, and so um, yeah, it's great to be here. All right, I'm going to play you guys um, my new record. It's called Manifesto. And this is the first track. This is called Gather in April. Oh 
Thank you. Yeah, it's a beautiful space, uh, such a beautiful space to, to sing in. And, um, you, know, um, you know, the real reason is that is I'm, I'm sort of sick of playing to the sound of a barista blending a frappe latte. You know, sort of just getting into it and just feeling it, and it's like... So that's the real reason. It's a, it's, a, it's a great feeling just to hear the song, you know. So this next one, this is called uh, Dragonfly. Thanks so much, guys. Yeah. Um, yeah, it feels great. It feels really beautiful. I've been uh, working on these songs for a really long time, and uh, I got to finally record it in the back of the Klang Forest. And I've been sort of procrastinating a lot, and then suddenly I had two angels come to me and say, "Hey, we've got a space you can record in. Come. You don't have to do anything. Just come and record." And, do what you need to do, and and so I, I I took the I took the message and and I went out and recorded, and I spent a whole week just immersed in recording the record. And you know, being at home, you you procrastinate not. There's so many things to do. You can just fiddle your thumbs all the time. But when you go somewhere that's dedicated, it, it really made the difference, and it sort of helped me get over the line. It, it was coming up to three years, and finally, I just. Yeah, that, that really helped me and it was great to, to, to manifest the, the record. And so this next song is called Manifesto, which is the title track. And this one's really uh, significant for me because 
It was one of the few songs that felt really unique and also the way I wrote it was really unique. Usually I do bits and pieces over a long time, but this song, uh, I had a conversation with a friend, a really strong conversation about songs and a lot of things. And over one night, I stayed up all night just uh, intentionally trying to write about a particular experience that I had when I was a young boy and, um, you know, uh, over a certain amount of years with a certain thing that happened. And the whole process seemed to be really cathartic for me and, and, and so it sticks out a lot and that's why this is the, the title track manifesto. I hope you guys like it. It goes like this. One, two, three, four.
Thank you. Thank you. Um, so uh, this next one I wrote away out in New South Wales. I actually flew somewhere and hung out with a really old friend I hadn't seen for a long time um, back, you know, back before we could, you know, when we could fly. Um, so I hung out with this great friend of mine, and so it was, it was really great. I didn't have anything to do except just hang out, and he was a great host. He uh, pretty much every every couple of days he'd take me to go see the sunset or the sunrise, and we just chat and hang out. And I was really taken. Um, I was amazed by the sunset and the sunrise, and I I started writing uh, a song. Um, and this is the song. It's, it's called uh, "Made the Circle Stay Unbroken." And I was writing it there, and he was seeing me writing it there, and I was pretty much having all these uh, epiphanies and realizations and all sorts of you know spiritual things happening. Looking at the sun, I was thinking everything is a circle. The sun's a circle, the ocean's a circle, the world's a circle, the universe is a circle. I was pretty much blowing my own mind. <laughs> and uh, so I, I wrote this song, and. Um, and then I went home a few months later, my, my friend, uh, he saw me write the song, you know, bits of it, and, and I usually send demos to friends when I finish songs, and I send him a demo of it, and he listened to it, and he says, yeah, I really love that song, it's great, it's, it's about our friendship, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I was looking at him going, no, it's not, it's not, it had to be the truthful twin, but he wouldn't accept it, he said, no, it's about our friendship, uh, made the circle be unbroken, you know? And so I had to break to him, it's not really about that. So I told him the truth, it's really about the circles and, you know, and all, the, all this spiritual innuendo. And, <laughs> and he wasn't interested. <laughs> he was convinced that it was about um, our, our friendship. So that's the beauty of, of interpretation, subjective interpretation. So this is, uh, uh, may the circle stay unbroken or just circle which I titled it uh, on the record.
don't be distracted by the crowds Follow peace the Tao is safe Let nature be our guide in life Circle stay unbroken, save me at last. May the circle stay unbroken, save me at last. <laughs> Thank you. I'm just going to tune up. That would never happen at a cafe, never. The whispering, like the respectful whispering? That's a miracle. This one is Luna.
this land holds many sides But only one I seek Now I watch as the world Just passes on by And I hold just one thought That's dear to me this life And I want you to know This one is green clover, and you know I think, um, and I've been really blessed to, to live around here, you know, um, because the the landscapes are just so inspirational. And this song I wrote in the Glenifer Valley, and I was house sitting and sitting out on a deck drinking coffee and looking at the at the mountains there. Um, and from Glenifer, they feel really close, and they just uh, like many of the of the scenery around here, they, it's just so timeless, and and so this song again, it just just helped me write and get ideas for songs and just put you in a place that's that's beyond your own your own sort of uh, lifespan. This one is uh, Green Clover. <laughs>
Thanks, guys. Thanks very much. Um. Uh, yeah, it's a real pleasure to play um, these songs for you here. It it's, uh, feels great. And so this next one is called Forest Fires. And I wrote this one about a year ago. If we rewind back a few disasters ago, a few natural catastrophes, <laughs> we'll get to that, that when we had the bushfires. You know? And um, it's like, a, like a, a, a memory now. Um, so I, was, I actually had to evacuate my house um, at least twice in Glenifer and moved back in and was having a coffee with a friend and um, they were saying to me, why don't you write something like about the forest fires? You know, it's a, quite a good metaphor, isn't it? And so I gave it the horse, I, I, uh, I thought I was, I was quite offended because you, know, you think I sit around waiting for natural disasters and <laughs> people's misfortune to, to write songs and be inspired? <laughs> So I quickly, you know, got it to go, and so I quickly, and I quickly started writing the song, <laughs> and it's turned out to be yeah, one of my one of my favourite songs called Forest Fires, and I'm quite grateful now for her insensitivity. <laughs> so this one's Forest Fires. Send my name 
down the line Let them know that I'm getting out And that's the way that it goes No one really knows And that's the way it goes No one really knows And that's the way it goes No one really knows And that's the way that Thanks guys. You guys feel good out there? Aircon's just right? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh wow, cool. <laughs> that helps. I know I like 23. You know, everyone's a bit, you know, on 19. I'm like, I can't stand 19. I like 23. I was, I was born on the equator. Some people have on 19. I'm, I'm freezing. Uh, so this one, this next one, is uh, called Miracle. This song, one of the first ones I wrote in the three year thing was the summer of 2018 and one of the first ones and at the time I, I, I remember just thinking about how much I'd been listening to people talk about their lives and listening and, and just being amazed at, at you know, what a miracle it is to, to, to be alive and to, everything's a miracle, you know, people tell you a story and the way they met this person, where this happened, everything, so many things in their lives is like just a miracle. So um, this song's sort of like a, uh, a no to, to miracles. And uh, here we go.
She was a prize like the carnival in May. Thank you. Thank you. This guitar is very fussy. It's, more <laughs> it's a vampire. It lives in a coffin all the time, and it just wants everything just right. I want the right humidity. I want the right temperature. Um, so this one, this next one's called "Sweet Times," and this is a, a, a bittersweet song for me because it, it's it's about um, some great times I had with friends, but. Um, but unfortunately some, some I've lost and I've been holding on to this song for a while and I was um, really happy to, to see how it fit into this record so this one's Sweet Times Thank you. 
Ah, thank you. Thanks. Um, it feels so good. I think we should all just lock the doors and stay here and have, just have a festival. And all we need is a bit of chai. It's warm enough. We've got supplies in the back. We just have to raid, raid them in there. I just, I just want you guys to give a, a, a round of applause to um, my second band member, which is Nath up in the sound booth. And, and of course, the, the Jetty Theatre for um, giving me a date so I could uh, do the launch. Yeah. And, uh, and of course, to you guys, thanks for coming. Thank you. <laughs> uh, there's not much self love there, come on. <laughs> so I can't believe it. we've made it to song 10 already. This is. Uh, did we do 10 songs? Wow. Okay. Wow. <laughs> no, it's, it's really amazing to, to, to sing the songs to the circuit of people. Like it's, it's amazing. Like To do it on your own is one thing, but when you play to people, it's, it's a totally different thing, and it's, like, it's just so, it's so amazing. Um, so it's definitely we, you know. <laughs> um, so this is song 10. This is song 10. So this is a Tiny House. This is one of the, the final songs that I wrote in the, in the, in the batch. And um, this one I wrote in bits and pieces and there's a lot to it, but I think the Tiny House um, title came from, just initially my, my brother, you know, you, you always have a relative who bombards you with messages about their latest interest. And like, you only tolerate it because they're family, you know, you don't block them. So that <laughs> everyone else gets blocked. But my brother, he's sending me all these messages for months about Tiny House. And I'm going, yeah, okay, okay. And it's beautiful, you know, I really, really believe in it. It's like having a small space, simplify your life and all that. Um, and so he was, you know, sending me all these messages and, and it was getting old and I was going, wow, just build it already. <laughs> so suddenly I get this uh, message with photos and he's built a, he's built a mansion <laughs> he's bought this massive kit home and I've gone what the fuck? What are you, what are you? so many months of me you know helping him like encouraging him and then he does the opposite <laughs> so uh, <laughs> so that's one thing but the, the, the more serious one is is um is actually watching people um, overcome difficulties, and I, you know, over the years I've seen lots of friends overcome difficulties, and and yeah, I think this this record for me has been like there's certain themes that have been coming forward, and and one of them definitely was nature and having nature as a backdrop and as a silent witness to 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 your life and your and certain events, and, and it makes such a good witness because it's always there and doesn't change very quickly, just watches you slowly die. <laughs> so wise <laughs> but um, yeah I think the human spirit for this record I thought like wow the human spirit is amazing we just overcome and we help people and you know, in my life I've been helped so many times and I had a friend who went through some stuff and I saw him go through um, things and I thought wow he's in a lot of trouble and, but then he just turned himself around and rebuilt his life and it was so inspiring and, and I, I took a lot of notes from his um, from his book, so to speak, and uh, you know, I went through similar things to him, um, and then you know, I was there just learning from people around me what they do, and, and you know, just so grateful to other people. Um, so I think that's that's pretty much the the tiny house thing. Um, so this is song ten. This is tiny house, and uh, thanks guys for coming. I know it feels like I've just started, but. This is song 10. <laughs> All right, thank you. In 
Guys, thank you.
like, you know, I hear a lot of bands say, oh, we don't do encores, but um, you actually feel better when you walk off stage for a second, you cool down, and, you know. I almost called a pizza. Cool. Um, I'll play Come In a, in a second, I, I, I definitely will. Um, but I just want to stay on the theme of the album at the moment because I wrote about 25 songs and, and, and uh, I'm not going to torture you with them. <laughs> I just want to play one, this one, uh, of the ones that didn't make it. You know, basically I was just trying to get a 10 that went together that felt good, you know. And also, you know, constraints with trying to make a record itself is really, really hard. And uh, that's one of the reasons why I made vinyl is because the music industry at the moment is really tough, you know. Nobody buys CDs, everybody's online. So vinyl, you know, the last uh, in the last bunch of years I'd go to and see a band and I, I would buy vinyl if they had it at the Bellow Winter Festival or different places. If they had vinyl, I, I would buy it and it was the only, the only way that I'd feel like connected, you know, that would hang around, it would remind you in the house and you go, oh yeah, I'm gonna play that. And, it was such a such a cool thing. So, um, yeah, I thought I'd, I'll make a big effort and and put it on a vinyl. And so it feels great. It really does to have a, a bunch of songs together as opposed to lots of singles or um, a lot of scattered music everywhere. So instead of a twenty five song album, it's, it's a ten song album. <laughs> and if there was a song eleven, uh, this is my my own sort of favorite. Uh, uh, and it's called Lost But Not Alone. Tricky one, this is a tune that a friend of mine called Roddy Reason taught me. It's the capo on the fifth string, open sixth string. And that's how you to play El Camino. Uh, so El Camino it was.
was an accident, you know. I, I, well, I was trying to write in Spanish, but I was failing miserably. Um, <laughs> and I've got to share you the story because I was seeing my mum recently and, and uh, we're having coffee and, and, you know, she's a big fan of me writing in Spanish. And she accepted this song as a Spanglish song because she's guilty of, of speaking Spanglish. <laughs> but it's the opposite way. It's because she's looking for English words and she can't find them, so she keeps Spanish where I'm the opposite way. I'm looking for Spanish words and I keep filling them with English words. Did I say that right? <laughs> but she was telling me she, she is at work because she wants to keep working and there's a fellow at work that's also a Colombian because we were born in Colombia and she said he makes a great coffee uh, <laughs> and he always makes me coffee on my break but lately he's been hearing me speak Spanglish and he refuses to make me a coffee <laughs> um, <laughs> so whenever he's around she's got a really tighten the game up and not speak Spanglish. <laughs> so uh, I'm never going to play the song for him. Because <laughs> she says, he just says, stop it, please don't, don't speak Spanglish, it's horrible. Um, uh, okay, so this is, this is El Camino. And uh, thank you. If 
Thanks for coming tonight, guys. I'm really stoked. And um, thank you. <laughs> um, so uh, I'm going to finish the night on a brand new song. And this one, I would definitely play to that Colombian. <laughs> because it's all in Spanish. But he wouldn't be very impressed with the dialect. He might think I'm a bit of a gringo. Because um, he's one of the guys that um, did what we didn't do. Like, oh, m me and my brothers are allowed to speak Spanish. I'm um, English at home. Uh, my mum didn't cause a fuss. But we would only speak Spanish to my mum. But she told me in his house, there's only Spanish and the kids are not allowed to speak English. They can speak English at school and stuff. So anyway, um, I have been writing in Spanish and I was going to put some of these songs on the album, but I started getting on a roll with Spanish and I went, oh, I'm starting to get a flow and I've written a few and I thought, I think I can do a whole album of these. So I'd like to finish on, on a complete Spanish song and and, and, and you know, hopefully one day I can I can record and have an album just with Spanish songs. Yeah, thank you. So uh, this one, this one is uh, called Montaña, and uh, I'm gonna need some help to finish the night. I need you guys to help me with this song so we finish on a on a good vibe together. So I need you guys to be drummers for me. Okay, I need you to like hit your leg or stomp your foot, you know, or hit the chair, but don't hit any cymbals because you'll hit someone. Yeah. Uh, but no clapping because that put me off. <laughs> well, if you want, that's okay. But it, it, needs, <laughs> it, needs a, it needs a beat through the whole song, so stay with me. It's very easy. It's just the same beat all the way through. Thanks so much for coming tonight, guys. Um, we do have this on video, so I'm gonna put it up on my sites at some point and, and you guys can, can, can watch it and, and we can share it around. Um, I'd like to thank uh, the crew again, the Jetty Theatre, and most of all, you guys for um, supporting my music. I know a lot of you over the years and uh, it means everything to me to play it to you guys. So thank you. <laughs> Alright, so you guys ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four.
mira al cielo, brilla rojo como un fuego. Mira a tu silla dos días más. Llegar el mar Solo Solo quiero Solo quiero ser Tu montaña Tu montaña Nuestra historia, tanto dolor, no lo puedo creer. Piensa al sentido que tenemos ya. Vamos a volar Solo, solo quiero Solo quiero ser Tu montaña Quiero ser tu montaña, tu montaña. Thanks guys, thank you. Good night, thank you.